this is gonna be very chatty honestly pretty much long story short is um, I'm going to nursing school months ago I literally had no idea what I wanted to do or anything I had like no path no direction I quit my full-time job I was working 40 to 50 hours a week I was doing medical billing for a chiropractor's office and as much as I'm super grateful for the position that I had because I had no training or schooling for that position. When I got the job, I just worked at the front desk and I kind of worked my way up. I got all my training within the office and everything was good. I was there for five years, but like as the days went on, I just kind of decided that that's not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I wanted something a little bit more fulfilling. I wanted to be like excited about my job every day and feeling just wasn't exciting for me it came to me pretty easily I would say like I am not gonna brag but I think I did pretty good at the job I was there for a while and I was continuing to grow but I just I didn't love it so July of this year 2023 I Started, I went and spoke to an advisor at my local community college. I went and spoke to them, kind of found out like where I was at because I did my associate's degree there. I transferred down to FAU to finish my bachelor's. I was for a little bit trying, I was on like a pre-med path. I was potentially going to be like going to medical school. I've always loved the idea of being in the medical field. To be completely honest, <laughs> when I was at FAU, I got to organic chemistry and I failed the first time around and then the second time around I withdrew because I couldn't do it. I don't know, there was like a lot of circumstances that was 2020, it was all like when COVID had first hit. So school was from home, I had just moved out to my first apartment, I was with my boyfriend and his best friend. and. So school was all in line. I was moving out for the first time with a significant other and then I was working completely from home. So I was still working at the chiropractor's job doing billing and stuff. So I was like 40 hours a week from home. All the school load, which is like a bachelor's degree at a university, I had just come from a state college. It was just a lot. And for me, I was very overwhelmed and I wasn't doing well in classes and that was different for me coming from a state college where I feel like I did really well and like my lowest grade was a high B on most things that I did so it was definitely tough to like see myself falling so fast and I don't think it was that I wasn't trying um, I definitely think I could have applied myself more but I was just I was so overwhelmed for like uh, everything as a whole that it just wasn't working out I ended up leaving Del Rey because the our rent was like doubling so we all kind of came back home and then I was just went back to work at my current job went back in the office full time and then after a little bit I just kind of decided I wanted more so that's when I made the decision now back to July I went and spoke to an advisor which I think I had yeah, I have this paper still. So like this was kind of, I sat down and talked to her and this was like everything that I have so far for my associates versus like the couple classes or credits that I needed to actually be eligible for the nursing program. So that's kind of, I guess what I want this to be is like if you're just starting out, I'm just starting out. I do have a friend who is a year ahead of me. <laughs> Are we disrupting you? So yeah, I <laughs> I just want this to be like a this is my journey. Like I'm sure there's plenty of people like me, but I know like nursing students a lot of times they like you kind of already know what you were going for, you did your associates, you rolled right into your program or however it goes. But I'll scratch all that. This is the way that I'm doing it and I just want to share in case anybody else is on the same path and you just decide, hey I want to quit my job and go back to school because that's what I did and so far I'm very happy. So in July I was told I had a handful of credits that I needed to finish. There was like three in particular that I needed to finish before 
um, I could apply for the program and then there was like four or five that I would need to finish before even if I got through the entire program there were still a couple credits that I would need to be able to graduate at the end so for my school in particular the the what you have to go out okay I'll be right back okay so the credits that I need to finish before I can even be considered for the program was anatomy one and nutrition. Those are technically the only two classes I need to be just so I can enroll. And then besides also like taking the HESI exam and a couple other things like that. So in July, I decided I was just going to try and get into the two classes over summer so that I could apply for fall. I was like last second, how fast can I do this? Can I get the HESI scheduled? Like I was doing everything I could. I was able to get into anatomy one over summer B. So I did anatomy one and the lab and then I ended up like I wouldn't have been able to apply take the exam and like submit everything I think I had like two or three weeks for that rotation of acceptance to end so like it was that was just like not it wasn't gonna happen not realistic so I was like okay let me see if I can do it all for spring because we're right now it was the spring 2024 application round was open so that was a little bit more realistic for me so i took anatomy one with a lab over summer b and then i enrolled into nutrition and anatomy two with the lab even though anatomy two and lab is not required to get in it's required to graduate at the end of the program so um because they're like co-requisites with our nursing program i was like let me just get out of the way since i do have this semester that i don't want to waste time so I took that and then I had my HESI scheduled back in September. Studying wise, I was very overwhelmed because I feel like it's just such a big test. I do know one person that's done it at this point. I mean, I know several other people that are nurses, but somebody who's like recently done it, one of my good friends, like I said, she's uh, in nurse two right now. So she's in her second semester of nursing. She was able to like give me some materials and actually help a lot with my study process because I ended up only studying for like a little over a month I think it was from like when I really decided I was going to do this and like not wait until a year later and just be like yeah I really want to do this blah 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 I was like putting my feet on the ground and running like I wanted to do this get out of where I'm at financially mentally emotionally just like feeling like I want more for myself this was like I was like if I don't do it now what am I going to do it I had it scheduled for, it was, I think, September 13th I took it. So a month prior to that, I started studying. And the number one thing that really helped me was Nurse Hub. Um, so I ended up subscribing to that. I think it was $20. It's $20 a month or something. So I had it for 30 days. It was 20 bucks. But you have, like, all access to everything that's on the test for the HESI. So something for me was that I was, like, nervous about was just the basic math and I know that sounds silly but like conversions and the metric system and all that kind of stuff like fractions and decimals I hadn't done any of that in forever right I graduated high school in 2015 and then I mean even my associate's degree I did have a couple of math courses but I have still I finished my associates like three years ago now so it's still been a while since I had done any of this stuff and that's the, that kind of thing where like if you're not using that every day, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not retaining that information. I'm not using decimals and fractions, and I don't even measure when I'm cooking. I needed some help getting back into the math of all that stuff. So I really spent time, like, every single day of the month that I studied, every single day I was at my desk here, like, even if it was only an hour for that day, which most days I didn't do more than, like, three hours at a time. But I was in here going through all of that. And so the way that Nurse Hub has their math section set up is that you like listen to a lesson and then you do like practice problems on it. And then you listen to a lesson and then you do practice problems. And then after like that section of what they considered like say the first one was adding and subtracting which obviously like I didn't have an issue with that one. But still it gets you started from somewhere. So like I still did every single one of those practice problems and I took the test. Like I knew I would get 100 because it's it's literally it was literally adding like what is jimmy has one apple and then he finds a second apple how many apples does he have you know like i know it sounds basic but it's like getting your brain into that thought process of like what you're going to be doing so i did every single one and by the time i got to the end of it i'm just going to pull up my 
Pessy score. My math section, I, do, I got a 94% on my on the entire math section. So like, as much as you think even like, oh, I don't need to review adding and subtracting. Like, no, you probably don't, but you might as well just do it all. It didn't take very much time. But pretty much what I'm saying is they have it set up very nicely to where that it all just like progressively gets harder. Like you get into your fractions and your decimals. You can probably hear Tessa make, she lost her ball under the chair. She's gonna cry the whole time if I don't get it. So it like progressively was getting more difficult but then that like you could tell that was the stuff that I actually needed help on obviously. So it went through all of that and then I didn't even realize till I was like three weeks into studying that Nurse Hub wasn't just math. It has every section on there. So that's when I started getting reviewing like my biology. So I was currently in anatomy so I wasn't worried about that. I guess wait maybe I'm going too far ahead. So if you're not aware the HESI exam is a test that tests you on like a couple different sections of learning or subjects. <laughs> the first one was reading comprehension. Second one is vocab and like general knowledge. Then you have biology, anatomy and physiology, math, and I'm pretty sure some other states also include chemistry. Florida doesn't, um, or at least just my school doesn't include chemistry, but I know like the HESI book I have does include chemistry section. <laughs> But thank God because I taught myself general chemistry and I just know I cried through every bit of it. It was awful. I mean, I would have done it again for this because I really want it, but I'm very glad that I didn't have to test in general chemistry. Like the last week, I started really reviewing the biology because I hadn't done biology since my first year of college, which is back... 2018 I think and now like I was I've been using it throughout my degree and like a lot of that stuff I really like so a good amount of it kind of stuck which I was very grateful for um, we did do a pretty good like general review of biology at the beginning of anatomy so that kind of got it kicking for me again but nurse hub really was like an, a one-stop shop for everything you needed for the HESI exam um, so I really just like an hour to three hours every single day where like even if I'm working like I was getting up at 6 a.m. to do an hour like get up and I would make sure that I have something to look forward to which is always my iced coffee so get up and like make my coffee and just come sit down and grind an hour out even if it's like in the evening at the end of the day like I know I'm exhausted after working or going to school all day but if I can just put my phone down just one hour just one hour get your study time in when you can if you want it bad enough like you're gonna make it work so that's what I did so I took my half exam I was super nervous it was a three hour test and pretty much when I got in there you're in like at least for us it was um like a lab testing center at the college so you go in they like take your phone your keys they take everything they give you like a pencil and a scrap piece of paper and tell you good luck and so I went in there I took my test you take it section by section so it's like all these different sections that I just read off to you and you just like start and so I didn't realize I think I decided I was gonna start with the anatomy because I know for the school that I was applying for they were looking for um, a good grade in anatomy and a good score on the math not great a good score on both the math and anatomy you had to have at least an 80 or higher is what I had been told that you need at least an 80 or higher on both of those subjects and then an overall 80 on the entire exam. So I was like very nervous about those. So I wanted to start with anatomy to like get that stuff fresh off my brain. It's a lot of just definitions and like labeling stuff kind of thing. Well, they don't have models for you to label, but it's just like a lot of memorization type thing in anatomy. So I did that one first and I didn't realize that it would give me my score right away. Like as soon as I was done taking that section, it gave me my score. Now luckily I did get a good score. I ended up getting an 88 on the anatomy section because that kind of just like kick started the, the rest of the exam I was like excited for. I was like, okay, if I pass that, like I am good to go because I was taking math practice exams um, before I went in and like was getting hundreds on them so I was as much as the math was like big and it was intimidating I was like if I just take my time like I'll be fine with that one so I did anatomy first and then I did the math I got a 94 in math and an 88 in anatomy but like once I saw for each of those that I did get like over that 80% threshold I was so excited that I was like I was like happy taking the rest of the test so um it was kind of exciting for me and like I do have a really good group of friends and a good group of people around me so I was like very excited to tell everybody how I did but I ended up doing like really well 
on the rest of the exam my overall um, my overall score for reading was a 90 it was the reading was like broken down into a couple different sections as well what was it conclusions meaning word use implications and understanding so I got an overall 90 which I wasn't upset about um, vocab and the general knowledge I got an 88 and then I actually, this was a little bit upsetting, I got a 76 on the biology and I was a little bit worried because I know that like obviously that's important going into the nursing field but that was the one thing that like I hadn't touched on in a very long time. Obviously I'm using like reading comprehension and vocab writing email like I'm doing that on a daily basis but I wasn't using biology like on a daily basis so I was a little bit worried about that and I think that if I had studied a little bit more like I told you I was studying for the math for a whole month and I didn't even touch the biology stuff until like the week before and now I was like grinding it out the week before but still I think if I had spread out that studying I would have been a little bit better on it but that's neither here nor there because here I am so nurse help was just a really good tool for me when I was studying for the exam so I ended up getting oh, what did I get total total on the entire exam I got an 87 yeah, I got an 87, which I was very excited about because I needed at least an 80. And then also we needed like at least a 3.0 GPA. So my I met that. I was good with that. So we were at, I needed a 3.0 GPA or higher. I needed to pass the HESI exam with an 80% or higher cumulative. Looking at anatomy and math, 80% or higher on both of those. You have to have the uh, nutrition grade anatomy or you know what nutrition might have been one that's a prerequisite because I actually just took that final yesterday so I didn't even have the final grade for it so that one might have not I don't think I needed nutrition to get in it was just anatomy one which I had taken for summer and you needed at least an A in that class and I got an A in both the lab and the lecture so I was good there so everything was all sent over I like made sure I was emailing my advisor like hey do you have everything is there anything else I can do like once my HESI scores were sent in they already had my application and they were like nope it's just like a waiting game now but everything is done um, I of course was stressed not stressing out but I was just like excited to hear I kind of wanted to know and either way if I didn't get in this time around I was gonna apply for fall of 24 um, the college that I applied to just opened a like bigger simulation lab so they were this I starting this semester they are accepting like double what they used to accept in the past so I was excited about that but I was like you know what there's so much going on and so many people are applying like if I don't get in this round I'm not gonna let it deter me because there's a lot of people who don't get in the first round I am gonna apply I'll just apply again for fall semester because my HESI scores would be good for a year and I'd still be able to use that so I just kind of wanted to know like where what I was gonna be doing you know I, I just wanted to know I ended up getting an email that was like you'll know between this date and this date and I was like oh my god like I'm gonna find out it was between a Monday and a Friday or something like that and that Monday came and nothing and Tuesday came and nothing and Wednesday came and I'm like going to class and I know there's people in my classes that are applying to the program as well and like nobody's heard yet or anything we get all the way to Friday and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and I just got to work and I was like, oh, I am, it's like, what if I just don't hear anything? Like, maybe they're going to send the denials tomorrow. Maybe I just didn't get in. I don't know. Like, it was just taking so long. And then within, like, a half hour, I got the email. And I was wearing my Apple Watch, so it popped up. And I saw it right away. And I am, so I told you I quit my full-time job. And I'm working part-time at a restaurant that's close to me. But I'm still fairly new there, so, like, I'm not super close to anybody so when I found out that I got in, it was like, I was so shocked, but also I wasn't with anybody that I would like normally celebrate with or anything. Like I just, I'm not that close to anybody. Yeah, you was excited? Yeah. So I'm just like, I immediately, and like I'm able to walk out to the back because I'm working at a restaurant. You just want attention as soon as I'm talking. She's gonna try, she's gonna jump all the way up in my lap. Here she comes. She's excited for me. She said, yeah, mom. Yeah, mom, I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 
Okay, you're rubbing your bow. All right, get down. She's so funny. So I'm just like, I took a screenshot of it and I sent it to my boyfriend. I'm like, oh my god, like I'm in so much shock. I don't even know what to do. And like, I'm not even really close with anybody here. I feel like this is not real. Like I'm having imposter syndrome because I'm just like, I just got in. Uh, but it was also a provisional acceptance, so after that is when you do like your drug testing, your background testing, you still have, to, I still have to get a bunch of vaccines and um, do a physical tuberculosis test. I was just, I didn't know what to do. And like it was also 30 minutes into my shift, so like I still have five hours to go of the shift and I'm supposed to just like be calm. And I just, I went to the bathroom, I took this clip. So I can't talk that loud because I'm in the bathroom, but I just got the email that I was accepted into the program provisionally because um, I, oh my god, because <laughs> I need to pass a drug test and a background check, but that will be done like this upcoming week, but I can't even like have a full reaction because I'm literally at work. And I went on with my shift and then after that, I kind of start like I told a couple of my friends, I told my parents, kind of deal. So everybody was very excited for me, which was really cool. And then I had, I had to like sign a piece of paper that I was, I wanted to continue, like got accepted, I wanted to keep going. So I did that. I got my um, background check, which I had to get fingerprints and a background check scheduled, and then a urine drug test scheduled that same week. So I got that done. Like I found out Friday at 4:45. I had everything scheduled by like Tuesday the following week because then we had a, an orientation. Um, that was on that was October 27th. So I found out I think the 19th. No, I found out October 20th that I got into the program and then there was an orientation on the 27th. So the following week I had everything um, scheduled. I went and got fingerprinted, did my drug test, everything was fine. Um, but it was still like a provisional acceptance because you have to like get through that portion of everything. So during that orientation is when they like really gave us all the details so it was from 7 30 a.m to 4 p.m it was originally scheduled till 5 but we finished a little bit early so i think i was out of there by like 4 4 30 the latest but they just gave us like so much information which was fine it was almost like just a big lecture uh they told us kind of like all the supplies that you would need books like what our schedule is going to look like we obviously like went over all the um vaccinations and tests that we're gonna need before we even get started stuff with like the school how it, just everything it was like a big it was just a big information dump which was honestly very exciting I did meet a couple girls so that was cool I we did all of that that was a very fun day um, getting ended up getting like a tentative schedule of kind of how uh, lab will look throughout the week and then our days that we'll have lecture and then like clinicals are starting about a month after everything so it's like lab for the first few weeks and then clinical start which is still like lab it's just obviously in a facility so yeah so I got accepted and that was very exciting I luckily my girlfriend who's um who's a year ahead of me had like a supplies list just ready to go for me so she sent me all of that and I was able to like very quickly build an Amazon list um, so I have a huge cart that I actually just have sent to everybody as like my Christmas list. So hopefully I'll get a good amount of that for Christmas. I've pretty much told everybody, um, like I, please don't get me anything else. Like I don't need anything else. If, and not that you have to buy me anything, but if you're thinking of buying me a gift, please get me something that I'll be needing for school. So I am super excited to like start getting all that stuff in and now actually I do have a couple things I did buy my scrubs because I was told that they go very quickly um, so I'll show you my scrubs I bought um, three scrub tops because we have three days at school I bought three scrub tops, three scrub bottoms, and then our jacket. So everything that we wear has to have our um, logo on it, wherever you are, obviously, so they know that you're a student. So this is my little scrub top, my School of Nursing 
little top there and then just our school colors is like this blue yellow and white so blue is our pants this is just another pair of the pants but then also the jacket so i did buy this i did buy this stuff um to get ahead of the game but even then because i bought this the day i went in for orientation even though i'm still technically right now a provisional under like being provisionally accepted but i know that i'm gonna get all the vaccines and i've already passed all the stuff that would like be a definite no like my drug test and my background test so um i haven't taken the tags off anything i could return it god forbid something happened but i wanted to get this out of the way because i was told that they fell out very quickly and i wanted to make sure that like i had the correct size so that i wasn't swimming in my scrubs all the time but another thing another thing that i actually just got in the mail today was the shoes so these are technically a christmas gift from my boyfriend but i wanted to make sure that um if i needed to exchange the size that i would have plenty of time to do it so we ordered them early plus they're having a black friday sale so we just decided to order them now and i'm only doing the unboxing so i can try them on but i told him he can wrap them and put them under the tree for me so i figured i might as well do a little unboxing um with you guys here and show you what shoes i got so this was another recommendation from my friend who's in the program right now there wasn't a specific type of shoe we had to have they just had to be all white and they told us to make sure that it was like a material that could easily be cleaned because obviously if bodily fluids get on them you're gonna want to be able to clean them oh i forgot it came with uh that's so cute. It came with this free bag too. This is like part of their Black Friday deal. Have a nice shift. It's just like a cute little tote bag. So that's cool. The brand I ordered is Clove. Um, my friend has these. She really liked them. Oh, they also came with pens and my first badge reel. That's really cute. So worst case scenario, if I don't get a badge reel, at least I have one. Like if I don't get one for Christmas or something because I do have that on my list is a couple bad reels that's like okay for me that's like one of the really exciting parts is like being able to get a different badge reel for every day of the week and maybe I'm just saying that now and that'll change when I'm actually working and I won't care about it but that just seems like a very fun aspect of the uh uniform that like I'm excited for so also got some pens and the shoes so yeah so they are material that can be cleaned i don't know if it's real i don't think it's real leather or anything but it's like a, a leathery material okay the sun is really coming through right now. but yeah so these are the shoes and i do like the fact that it isn't like a traditional tie so i don't have to worry about if they come untied it's just like kind of that little i don't know whatever the heck that's called I'm actually going to go get a pair of socks so I can try them on. But they're cute. These are really cute. Like they had to be all white and this is a good material so they can be wiped down. But yeah, my friend has these ones and she loves them so she sent them to me. I think they're normally like 130 or 140 but the Black Friday sale right now they were 104. Um, so we took advantage of that. Let me go get socks. Uh, but yeah, so we took advantage of that deal. I just wanted to make sure, like, God forbid I needed to exchange them. Although, I think I already said this. But just in case I needed to exchange, I wanted to make sure I had enough time. Um, and that's why we ordered them so early. So I'm going to try them on real quick. Ooh, and they're just, like, an easy slip-on. Okay, pretend there's not a mess behind me. Although, there isn't really a mess behind me, but... Yeah, so it doesn't move. These are the shoes. I think they're actually very cute. But they're just plain white. They're very comfortable already, so. Oh yeah. Very sturdy. Um but yeah, these are they're very cute and obviously they'll match. And can be clean. So yeah, I'm excited about these. I know they were they were very not very expensive, but they're pretty expensive. But I think it'll be worth it if I'm gonna be wearing them every day. Plus, my program is a two year program, so I'll probably have them for the full two years. But that is very exciting. Love them. I need to send her a picture. 
I think I'm eventually gonna do like a, like what's in my nursing bag, I guess to start. And then maybe eventually I can do something like what I actually use versus like the stuff that I got. But pretty much, I really want to document this process for myself. So that is what I'm doing. As of right now, I'm still considered provisionally accepted. Although I just got assigned a nursing advisor. So it seems like it's getting pretty serious. I meet on November 30th. We do a another like orientation i think they're calling it boot camp but it's i think it's like an extended orientation i don't know we're gonna meet with our advisors go over our academic plan so that they can see everything that we've done so far my remaining co-requisites with the core nursing classes is going to be i have to take a history test uh, a history class which is annoying but whatever, I have to do it. Um, and then I have to take microbiology one in the lab. So I'm gonna do that over summer 2024 because um, we don't have the core nurse classes over summer. You get summer off, so I just won't be getting summer off. I'll be taking history and microbiology. I'm a little bit nervous for micro, but I'll be fine, it, I'll be fine. And then there also is another civil literacy exam that you have to take it's not like a class i think you just take the test i need to actually look more into that and i think you know that's due like by the time you finish the two years but i'm gonna try and do it like before i even start just to get it out of the way but that's another one of those things that's like i think i have to pay for it and i have to take this test and why do i need to know i'm sure there's a reason i need to know it and that's why i have it so whatever i'll do it because i have to but yeah, as of right now, I have that boot camp coming up on the 30th. Then I'll go through um, like all, I guess the stuff like with the advisor of what I'll need to do as far as the classes that I'll need to finish. I know that I need to get an, I, an updated ID card with the school because like I have my student ID right now, but I think it needs to say school uh, nursing student or something like that so that when you go to the hospitals and the clinicals, they know who you are. So I'll need to do that. Somebody said I need a parking decal, decal, but it's a community college and like I've gone there forever and I've never paid for parking there. So. <laughs> I don't know if I've just been lucky or if like this is something new where I have to get a parking decal, so I'll have to figure that out. But pretty much, I'm really freaking excited. As of right now, I really wanna go into labor and delivery. That has always been um, like one of my top choices. I have a real big soft spot for babies, which I feel like I know that's not necessarily like the best reason of why I'm going into it, but I think my reasonings will continue to like come apparent to me as I go throughout the course and also I am very open to like go in whatever direction I get pulled like if I end up doing something that I found that I like more like I'm not I'm open to whatever but like as of right now I would really love to go into labor and delivery so that is kind of it for now starting in January I will be in lab two days a week with lecture one day a week I'm going to just be working on the weekends when I first start. Luckily my sister is my boss at the restaurant that I work at. So I've let her know like I, to start, I'd only like to work Saturdays and Sundays, like give me a month to kind of like get my bearings and then I'll decide if I can add some more days in. Also another little fun fact about me, something else I do is Rover, uh, which is dog sitting. So I do that and then the chiropractor, the medical billing job that I did, I do have online access to and luckily I left on good terms with my bosses so sometimes if I do need to get some extra hours I do have access to do that too. So I'm definitely very lucky in the spot that I'm in still living at home and being able to like be flexible with my jobs like this is really going to help. But that will kind of be the next few weeks for me is figuring out the financial aid stuff, my FAFSA, talking to an advisor and hopefully getting all the little supplies and stuff that I need for Christmas which I think I'll do a separate video on that because I feel like I could probably go in depth there but yeah I am just I'm very excited to watch myself grow and experience everything I'm about to experience I'm very excited for the program and the schooling and learning everything and just like being 
somebody that people can depend on when they are in a time of need and I am just very excited but if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching um, hopefully you'll subscribe and keep up with my journey as I start nursing school and find a new passion but I'm very excited and I will talk to you guys soon